Chelsea and I'm the Bourgeois Makeup Artist. Today I'm going to be recreating the Pretty Princess look. It's really important that you start by prepping the skin well for your makeup to sit. So, do two layers of moisturiser. Try and give yourself a couple of minutes for this moisturiser to sink in before you actually start applying any primer or base. So there are lots of different primers to use. I'm using one that's going to smooth out any uneven surface and also help the makeup to last all night. And just roughly apply with your fingers, covering really the T-zone area. You can put some over the eyelids as well and this will help your eyeshadow stay a little bit better. Now I'm going to apply the foundation. So always start by applying it in the central panel of your face and also this is the area that needs that little bit more coverage. I love this product because it gives a really silky base so all that natural radiance in your skin is not masked. Once we've put our foundation on we just want to then conceal and instead of just applying it right under the eye I'm taking it down into a V shape. You know you might see this kind of effect on people like Cheryl Cole, they always look instantly flawless. I'm going to be using a really gorgeous, pearly, iridescent eyeshadow. Again, with a patting motion, just pat the eyeshadow onto the eye. Do both eyes and then go on to your blending. And then I'm going to use a fluffy brush, clean brush, no product on it at all. And I'm just going to take what product's already on the eye and blend up towards the brow. So here I'm using it on the inside corners of the eye. That just really helps to open them up. This season, it's all about those sparkly eyes. I'm going to be using this intuitive liner which is actually my new favourite product. Rather than getting involved in doing a whole line, I'm just going to do really light dots right at the root of the lashes. By joining them up, you're creating an extended lash line. Once you've finished, run over the line and it'll just soften any of the work that you've done. When you put your mascara on, before it dries, keep combing and combing and combing so that all your lashes are separated perfect before you stop. By using a blusher with a little bit of sheen it makes it so much easier to blend and use just circular motions to apply the product onto the cheek and blend. A really great tip that I like to do is put a little bit in the sockets. So applying the lipstick in the middle and then just fading it out towards the lip line. If you want to add a bit more shine you can use a gloss. I love the 3D glosses for this because they have such a plumping effect on the lips. And there we have it. Pretty princess.